In this video we're going to learn about components, variants and variables. Components are going to be extremely useful for any element which is going to be repeated multiple times throughout your website project. Think about elements such as buttons, headers, footers and much more. Now we're going to create a component out of this button and as you can see under the layers panel this button is simply a stack with a text element. Now in order to create a component simply right click and you can see this create component call to action which you can prompt also using this keyboard shortcut. Now the moment that we create a new component we're going to have this uh, menu prompt which uh, essentially asks us uh, what is going to be the name of the component. You can always uh, edit uh, this uh, name so we're simply going to stick uh, to this uh, default to button and uh, as you can see the moment that we clicked on create uh, we are now being redirected to a dedicated uh, component uh, view. So this is going to be one step uh, out of uh, the home and uh, here we're going to have granular options uh, on uh, the components and uh, the variants. Now that we have uh, the component uh, we can uh, go back uh, to the original view and we're going to notice uh, that uh, we're going to have uh, the component uh, icon uh, right uh, here. Now, in order to edit the component, you can actually either double click on the component or simply select it and click over here on edit component. Now we're going to create a variable and what a variable is, is another version of that same component. So for example, I can create a variable of this component where we have by default black text uh, and uh, a white fill and uh, I'm going to rename uh, both of these components to button uh, black and then the second one is going to be bottom uh, white. Now if you go back uh, on uh, the home now you're going to notice that we have uh, a new drop down under the component uh, section which is going to allow us to toggle between uh, the white and the black version of the component. In order to simplify things uh, even further you can uh, start using names uh, which uh, are going to be easier to browse through such as uh, simply black uh, or white. And now we're going to explore a very useful feature which uh, is going to be the variables. Now see that I have uh, this uh, button which by default is going to be black but uh, see that I want to have uh, this uh, as a dark button instead of uh, just having it each and every time uh, in uh, a black color. What uh, you can do is to simply click uh, on the fill once you select the component and uh, you can create uh, a variable. Now the variable in this case is going to be color since uh, we want uh, the, to change uh, the background color of uh, this uh, button uh, while still maintaining uh, the same component. So by default it's going to be black uh, but we are going to be able to change it moving forward. So if you go back to the home uh, you can see that now we have a new variable which is the background color which is going to enable us uh, to change uh, the color of uh, this component while still maintaining uh, the same basic uh, principles that we established uh, just a moment ago. Now at this point uh, one other really useful element uh, which you're going to use all the time when building websites uh, is going to be the hover or pressed states. Now the hover state uh, can be added by simply clicking on this section below. So to recap, uh, on the right you can add the variants and below you can add the hover or pressed states. Now we're going to select hover and uh, at this point uh, you can see how we created this uh, second uh, component which is going to be the hover state and uh, we're simply going to 
for the sake of uh, illustration, we're going to change uh, the rotation of this button just slightly and uh, we're going to click on play and as you can see once I hover over this button we now have this uh, rotation effect now you can uh, also add a pressed side which uh, say for the sake of demonstration once I press so basically once I click on uh, this button it's going to tilt even further so you can see how this uh, is going to help you create uh, all sorts of uh, different uh, micro animations uh, in a very fast uh, and uh, efficient way. So this is pretty much it uh, when it comes uh, to components, variants, and variables in Framer. Now I invite you to experiment with these concepts that uh, you just learned uh, and uh, think through about uh, how you can uh, structure your design system, quote unquote, uh, in order to create websites uh, that are going to be easy to maintain and uh, scalable in the long term.